I might have made a lot of money off of my buckshot, but now I'm going to make you the nor. Straighten up, soldier. The membership emojis are here. Wait, what's here? I didn't hear the door, though. Bro, you can get all these emojis right now. But wait, there's more. You also get access to these new badges that go next to your name on comments. And you get a pinned comment. The amount of clout I'm going to get is insane. And, of course, they put a bomb in mine. Real news. Click join next to my channel meme for access. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, starting with Golden Delicious. Thoughts? Got to say, it's good to hear from you again, Obama. I'm used to hearing you through your clone, Joe Biden. Golden Delicious, wait, why are you starting with that? If that's weird, comment a thumbs up emoji. It's versatile, though, like a white canvas, ready for any recipe. Listen, don't ever question my decision making, bro. Sometimes it's a bit too soft for my taste, like a pillow that's lost its firmness, but that doesn't mean I can't rank the yellow one first. Yeah, well, I can appreciate the subtle weirdness. The fact that this is yellow means it's okay to rank it first. Okay, listen, Golden Delicious is getting a C tier. They're commonly used when cooking and eaten raw, although they're too tart for myself to eat raw. Next, the Granny Smith apple. Your views. I guess we can get these odd apples out of the way first. Granny Smiths are also only really used for cooking, and they're bitter as hell. Trash tear. Not as bitter as you after losing the election. Shut the fuck up, Joe. It's very much a sour apple, and I don't mind that so much. I'm gonna go see tear. Can be a bit too tart for some, myself included. I love it zing. Perfect for waking up your taste buds. No other apple really smacks like this one. I'd go A tier. Granny Smith scores a trash tire. George, sorry, buddy. How about McCoon apples? McCoon is a double entendre for my coon, which can mean my bitch, my pussy, or my cat. It's not as well known as the other apples, but has an amazing dark red color. I would always paint my GTA cars McCoon red. Oh, that's what that color was? Nice work, Donald. Its texture is perfect. Much softer than the traditional rock hard apple slices. Juicy, too. It's a bit delicate, though, like in a smushy way that doesn't smush right with my dentures. Well, known or not, I don't give a fuck. This apple is the best. Simply amazing. S tier for these. Now, what are your opinions on Pink Crisp? Pink Crisp is what I call Jill when it's time to eat the pork rinds. Oh, my God, I'm going to throw up. Joe, you sick fuck. For real, for real. When I eat that box, it's crunchy, sweet, and very tart all at the same time. The perfect combination of flavor. That was some really sick shit, Joe. Like, for real, I don't understand what made you say that. Pink crisps are okay, but I don't like tart apples. That's why I'm getting them out of the way first. Sometimes it's a bit too firm for me, like a mattress that needs breaking in. I'd go trash tier because of all the apples. This one tastes the worst. Especially after Joe's depraved, trauma-inducing comments, I wouldn't want this higher than trash tier. I enjoy its crunchiness, but overall, they really suck. I'm gonna go trash tier with this one. Let's discuss Fuji apples. Fuji is a dope name. The apples themselves are pretty good, but they are too overrated. Most people will say this is their favorite apple. Where should I put these? I'm thinking A tier. Yeah, I, I don't know about A tier. I'd give it a solid B, though. They have a good amount of crisp and flavor, but they lack flavor and juiciness. The Fuji name is definitely heard far and wide, but never really satisfies. Going to throw this into C tier. Next up, what do we think about gala apples? Gala apples are like the life of the party. Who doesn't think of a Fresh Villa supermarket when they hear the name Gala Apples? Their size is just right, like a perfectly portioned meal. It seems like they're fresher and crisper than normal apples as well. Got to go D tier, though, because I don't like how they look. Little dim on the shine there. Hey, Joey, looks like a faded apple that went through the washing machine. They taste fresh, but not a ton of flavor. I'm going to go C tier. We eat apples for their sweetness, not its fucking mild blandness. Gala is going C tier for being the most basic, boring apple. How about Honeycrisp apples? Honeycrisp is pretty heat, I can't lie. Always hits the spot when I want a nice apple, but they aren't my favorite. They aren't mine either because of the tartness. Will you shut the fuck up about the tartness, Obama? It would do you some good, put some hair on your chest. Obama with chest hair is something I just cannot picture. Can be a bit pricey, that's my only objection. Throw it into a tier. Worth every penny for that satisfying crunch. I'm going to go A tier. Uh, Honeycrisp is going into B tier. Opinions on 
Macintosh apples. I don't even notice these when I go to the supermarket because I have all my other round shoddies all oiled up for me in the apple baskets. Joe, how did you turn apples into something depraved and sexual? You have some serious issues. Sometimes I like to spice it up. You always up. like to spice it up, Joe. You need to figure out how to tone it down because I'm really tired of having the same conversation with you. It's really sickening to hear you sexualize everything, Joe. You really had a senator bent over in sex gear on the floor of the Senate. Oh, my Lord, it's so hard to stay on topic now. Macintosh apples are great, okay, but clearly forgotten because of the Apple Company. I'm going to go A tier. This one is an unsung hero. I was going to say the same thing, Trump. Um, a tier for Macintosh. Uh, next, what do we think about Empire Apples? Empire Apples are like a balanced equation. Just the right mix of sweet and tart. Going to go A tier for these. And how could you not like New York stuff? They're crunchy and satisfying. An overall great apple. Like an NBA 2K player with well-rounded stats. Gonna go B tier for always being there. They don't stand out much, kind of bland if you ask me. I'm gonna go D tier. I can appreciate their versatility. Being adaptable to change is the best quality to have as a president. So I'm gonna put these into B tier. They lack the juiciness and deep flavor of other apples, but always give you what you ask for. What about Red Delicious? Red Delicious is like the popular kid that lost its charm. Very red, but not very delicious. I'll have to go C tier. Sometimes they're a bit mealy, and they definitely aren't delicious. I'd go D tier. Good eye, George. You're a bit mealy, Joe. These are good apples. I don't understand the hate. Sure, you can get a stale apple, but that's every strain. I'm going to go B tier. Joe is quite mealy. I never thought to describe him like that. And these apples are decent, but clearly not the right name for them, since they are rarely delicious. I'm going D tier, like Joe said. Lastly, opal apples. Opal apples are the newcomers with a twist. Crisp, sweet, with a hint of tartness. Hot, take these apple slap. Call that a slap an apple. S. Their non browning feature is like a gadget that has an extra useful function. They're rather ordinary apples besides that, though. I'd give it B tier for a slightly above average experience. I enjoy the subtle blend of crispiness, sweetness, and tartness. It's definitely better than your average apple, and I can always count on them to be consistent. However, they're basic as fuck, so I gotta go see Although tier. these apples are good, I just don't understand the name. Why name an apple after a beautiful gemstone when they aren't that shiny or spectacular? Gotta go see tier. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching.